Those of us who are blessed to be able to live in Jerusalem, the holy city can take a bus which runs several times a day to the great biblical city of Beit Lechem, today known as Bethlehem. Here, King David was born, Ruth and Naomi lived, and our mother Rachel is buried. Come along with me to visit Rachel's tomb, known as Kever Rachel, in the holy city of Beit Lechem. Here we're at Kever Rachel today. And Rachel was one of the emos, one of the mothers of the Jewish people, with Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, and Leah. This is the tomb of Rachel. There's not much left to see of the tomb, which we'll see inside, because a security building has been built around the tomb, because we're in the middle of one of the cities that are now occupied by the Arabs, and we need it for protection. We had to come in here on a bulletproof bus, in through some barriers and special bulletproof protectors, not to be shot at. But once we're inside here, we're with our mother, Rachel. Now Rachel is a prime example of sacrifice. At the time of her going to get married, she loved Yaakov and she was set to be married to Yaakov. And in order to save her sister Leah embarrassment, so that she wouldn't have to embarrass, me, embarrass Leah, she gave up her marriage to Yaakov to allow her sister Leah to marry Yaakov at that time. Additionally, when it came to the time of burial, here we see Rachel. Rachel is buried here in Beit Lechem, while her husband, the man she loved most in the world, is buried with her sister in Hebron, at the cave of the patriarchs, at the cave of the fathers, called Machpelah. She's the epitome of sacrifice, and she asked to, and she was buried here, that for the generations to come, she would be able to cry out for her children as they went into exile after exile knowing in the end that we would be saved and we would be turned right here, here we are today, in Eretz Yisrael, visiting her keva. 3,000 years later, she's still here crying for us. And I would like to explain something about prayer. When we come to the graves of the righteous people, we come to the graves not to pray to them. We come here to pray to the only one we ever pray to, which is God the Almighty, the one who gave us our existence and continues to give us our existence and rules the universe. But we come here to ask that the merit and the good deeds and the righteousness of these righteous people stand us in good stead as we pray before our Creator. So the merit of Rachel stands next to us and behind us and within us as our prayers go up to Hashem, that He sees that those merits are coming along to elevate our prayers and that they be answered. It is a deeply moving spiritual experience to pray at the grave marker of our beloved mother, Rachel. Rachel's tomb returned to Jewish hands in the Six Day War, and hundreds of men and women come here daily to ensure that Kever Rachel the cave and the burial place of Rachel will remain under Jewish sovereignty.